que ya nos valientes alcemos nuestro canto con viva emoción y del mundo a la paz ostentemos nuestro invito glorioso pendón. Salve el pueblo que intrépido y fuerte a la guerra a morir se lanzó cuando el médico reto de muerte sus cadenas de esclavo rompió. Ningún pueblo ser libre merece si es esclavo indolente y servir si en su pecho la llama no crece que templó el heroísmo viril más que estrella la indómita y brava siempre activa la frente alzará que si fuere mi Esclava, otras tantas ser libres habrá. Que si dono y ardita es tu cielo, de un intruso señor al desdén. Las carreras veler campos fueron, que cubiertos de gloria se ven. Que en la cima de heroico baluarte de los libres el verbo encarnó, donde el genio de Sánchez y Duarte a ser libre o morir enseñó. Y si pudo en consulto caudillo de esas glorias el brillo empañar de la guerra se vio en capotillo la bandera de fuego emplear. y el incendio que a tonito deja de Castilla al soberbio león de las playas gloriosas le aleja donde flota el cruzado pendón Compatriotas mostremos servida nuestra frente orgullosos de hoy más que Quisqueya será destruida pero sierva de nuevo jamás que santuario de amor cada pecho do la patria se siente vivir y es su escudo invencible el derecho y es su lema ser libre o morir Libertad que aún se yergue serena La victoria en su carro triunfal Y el clarín de la guerra resuena Recordando su gloria inmortal Libertad que los ecos se agiten Mientras llenos de noble ansiedad Nuestros campos de gloria repiten Libertad, libertad, libertad Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope everyone is doing great. This is Darisa Jimenez, your English teacher. Get ready to begin and be welcome to your English class. Today's class is about shopping for technological devices. In this class, you're going to see conversations in shopping situations, and also you're going to learn how to ask questions. En esta clase vamos a hablar acerca de ir de compra por objetos electrónicos. Vas a ver diferentes diálogos en situaciones de compra y vas a aprender a hacer preguntas de cantidad. Let's begin. Thank you. 
what are you learning in today's class? In today's lesson, you're going to learn to identify specific information in a dialogue presented in shopping situations. Ask questions about quantity using how much and how many. Es decir, van a aprender a identificar información específica en un diálogo presentado en una situación de compra. Y también vas a aprender a hacer preguntas utilizando cuánto para referirte a cantidades. To begin today's class, I want you to give a check to this picture. Mira esta lámina que tenemos en la pantalla. What situation is this? If you need to go shopping for technological devices, what information can you ask? What would you buy? Mira la lámina que tenemos en pantalla. ¿Qué situación es esta? Si tuvieras que ir de compras por algún tipo de objeto electrónico, ¿qué comprarías? ¿Qué preguntas harías? Let's see the next dialogue and see what information they share in the shopping situation. Let's read the dialogue together. Vamos a leer el diálogo junto. We have a client and a salesperson. Tenemos un cliente y una persona encargada de ventas. Let's read. Vamos a leerlo. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Electronics Acosta. How may I help you today? The client says, I'm looking for a new laptop. Do you have any? Yes, we have a few different options. We have this brand new ZipZap W3. How many colors does it come in? It comes in five different colors. I would love a blue one. How much money does this laptop cost? It costs $500. I really like this laptop. I'll take it. Now, let's hear the dialogue in Spanish. Buenos días. Buenos días. Bienvenido a la Electrónica Costa. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarte? Estoy buscando una laptop nueva. ¿Tienes alguna? Sí. Tenemos algunas opciones diferentes. Tenemos esta nueva marca, ZipZap. W3. ¿En cuántos colores viene? Viene en cinco colores diferentes. Me encantaría un azul. ¿Cuánto dinero cuesta esta laptop? Cuesta 500 dólares. Realmente me gusta esta laptop. Me la llevaré. Now, let's see some questions to try your comprehension. Look at the questions on the screen and try to answer. Number one, how many people participate in the dialogue? ¿Cuántas personas participan en el diálogo? Number two, what is the name of the store? ¿Cuál es el nombre de la tienda? Number three, what did the client want to buy? ¿Qué quiere comprar el cliente? Number four. How many colors does the laptop come in? ¿En cuántos colores viene la portátil? How much money does the laptop cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta la laptop? Did the client buy the laptop? ¿Compró el cliente la laptop? Answer these questions based on the previous conversation. I'm going to give you some minutes. Go to work.
Now, let's share the answers of, for these questions. Number one, how many people are involved in the dialogue? Two people are involved in the dialogue. Hay dos personas involucradas en el diálogo. Where does the conversation take place? The conversation takes place in Electrónica Costa. La conversación sucede en la electrónica a costa. Number three, what does the client want to buy? ¿Qué quiere comprar el cliente? Oh, the client wants to buy a new laptop. Number four, how many colors does the laptop come in? It comes in five different colors. How much money does the laptop cost? It costs $500. And finally, did the client buy the laptop? Yes, the client bought the laptop. Now, I want you to check the dialogue again. And in this occasion, I want you to pay attention to two specific questions in which the client use how much and how many. Vamos a volver a ver el diálogo y en esta ocasión quiero que le prestes atención a dos preguntas que realiza el cliente donde utiliza how much and how many. Let's read it again. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Electronica Costa. How may I help you today? I'm looking to buy a new laptop. Do you have any? Yes. We have a few different options. We have this brand new, ZipZap W3. How many colors does it come in? It comes in five different colors. I love a blue one. How much money does this laptop cost? It costs $500. I really like this laptop. I'll take it. What are the two questions? in which the customer or the client uses how much and how many. Exactly, this is the number one. How many colors does it come in? And how much money does this laptop cost? Let's see these questions in detail. Vamos a ver estas preguntas en mayor detalle. How many colors does it come in? How much money does this laptop cost? When you see how much and how many, what do you think they mean? ¿Qué crees que significa? What are the questions about? ¿De qué se tratan estas preguntas? Exactly, these questions are about quantity. Look at the answers. Mira la respuesta. It comes in five different colors. How many colors does it come in? ¿En cuántos colores viene? How much? How much money does this laptop cost? And in this time, it's asking about a price. How much? How much money does this laptop cost? It costs $500. How many? How many colors does it come in? It comes in five different colors. When I'm using how many and how much, I'm asking questions about quantity. And I use how many when I'm going to refer to quantity of things that I can number or I can count. Yo utilizo how many para preguntas sobre cantidad de cosas que puedo numerar o contar. One, two, three. For example, in this case, colors. How many colors? ¿Cuántos colores? Look at the examples. How many speakers do you want? ¿Cuántas bocinas quieres? One, two, three. How many devices are connected to my router? One, two, three, five, ten. How many brothers do you have? ¿Cuántos hermanos tienes? Three, two, one. I use how many when I can number or count the quantity I'm asking about. 
how much. I use how much when I'm going to ask about number one, price. And number two, the quantity of things that I can count or that usually comes in a specific measure. Utilizo how much, número uno, para preguntar el precio de algo. How much? Look at the example. How much does a mouse cost? How much is a laptop? How much is a computer? I'm asking about price. Estoy preguntando acerca de precio. Also, I use how much to ask for quantity of things that normally we can't count or number. For example, how much information do you need? ¿Cuánta información necesita? En este caso, como yo no puedo contar información, one, two, three, entonces utilizo how much. Check the other example. How much memory does your laptop have? ¿Cuánta memoria tiene tu laptop? So, in this case, I use how much. Let's see how much you have understood about how much and how many. Vamos a ver cuánto has entendido. I want you to complete an exercise in which you're going to choose how much or how many to complete questions about quantity. Look at the questions on the screen. How much or how many? Take some minutes and complete this exercise and then we're going to share it together. Tómate unos minutos para completar este ejercicio y luego lo vamos a compartir. Now, let's check your answers. Number one, how much or how many? Exactly, how much? How much time does the movie last? ¿Cuánto tiempo dura la película? ¿Por qué utilizo how much? Porque time is not countable. El tiempo no se cuenta con números, uno, dos, tres. Number two, How much or how many? Yes, how many? How many days does February 2021 have? ¿Cuántos días tiene febrero del año 2021? Number three, how much or how many? Exactly, how many sisters do you have? ¿Cuántas hermanas tienes? Number four, How much or how many? Very good. How much is that shirt? ¿Cuánto cuesta esa camisa? Number four, number five. How much does it cost? ¿Cuánto cuesta? En este caso utilizamos how much porque estamos preguntando por el precio de un objeto. Number six, how much or how many? How many? How many students are in the class? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en clases? Number seven, how much? How much are these shoes? ¿Cuánto cuestan estos zapatos? Number eight, how much or how many? How many? How many people work in this store? ¿Cuántas personas trabajan en esta tienda? Well, my dear students, in today's class, you have learned a lot about asking questions for quantity. And you learned that how much and how many are used to ask about quantity. 
Remember that we use how much when you want to ask about price or things that we can't number. Recuerden que utilizamos how much para preguntar sobre precios y cosas que no podemos contar. Y que utilizamos how many for things that we can count. No olvides que estas dos formas de pregunta es para preguntar acerca de cantidad. Now it's time for your homework. I want you to write two questions using how much and two questions using how many. When you finish your work, remember to send it to your teacher. Vas a escribir dos preguntas con how much y dos preguntas con how many. Cuando hayas terminado tu trabajo, recuerda enviárselo a tu docente. Well, my dear students, this is all for today's class. Thanks for joining me. Please don't forget, wash your hands, wear your mask, and keep the social distancing. See you next class.